EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Rams. And we are underway from SoFi Stadium. You got a mic? This taken in at the goal line. And he's going to be taken down. You got a mic? Inside the 10 at about the 8 yard line. Now the first carry for Cam Akers. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Out of the gun, Stafford. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. I'm not sure he falls under the category of mobile quarterback, but he's athletic enough that if you don't keep your rush lanes intact, he finds a way to hurt you. As coaches like to say, I wouldn't call him a burner, but enough there in the tank. They'll run on first down with Akers. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's his longest run of the first quarter. And, Charles, we talked before the game about them needing to establish the run game. They'll be looking for more of that. And they got to the perimeter. So that tells me that that's part of the game plan of what they want to get done today. So they'll have some complimentary runs where he'll run it to the inside. But it appears that when they want the big yardage, they think they can get to the outside and make it happen. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They'll try the air now with Stafford. I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Throwing on third down, Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So opening drive, third down. They complete the slant to move the sticks. And ordinarily, it's a high percentage pass when you throw it. And receivers like to run that route because it gets the ball in their hands pretty quickly. Just a couple of quick steps upfield, break towards the middle. The ball should be there. And then they can get do some work afterwards. Shavarius Ward in on the tackle. Second down at five. Stafford going to give this to Akers. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Stafford. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henderson. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 24-yard line. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath, maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started. 
and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. We're scoreless after one. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door first and goal. They'll run here with Akers. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Second down and goal. Stafford, they'll set up the screen here to Akers. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Ready. Ready. To throw is Stafford. Sliding out of the pocket. And it will be intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And the Chiefs are going to take possession here. It's a touchback. And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Throwing again on second and 10. Mahomes escaping the pressure right. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Give him seven there on the tuck and run. And they're in better shape now for third. Working from the gun. Mahomes flushed out right. And Mahomes picking up the first as he slides and hits the deck. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. First and 10, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up a third and one. And again, it's Mahomes. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. 
Vaughn Miller, he was the one getting in there, able to wreak his usual havoc. Mahomes in the offense, staying out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Mahomes throwing on fourth. And that is incomplete. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line as they take over with exactly one minute to go here before intermission. Airing it out deep for Woods. And incomplete on the deep ball. I believe I'm following their logic. Take the big shot downfield, loosen things up. You're hoping to get some points on the board before the half. Maybe now you come back and throw some underneath stuff in order to make sure you get a completion. Here's second and ten. Stafford. And now this one may draw a penalty. He just blindly threw that one to the sideline. And yep, indeed, the flag is out. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. So now it's third and long, because remember, they also lose a down on the grounding call. Now it's Stafford. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Stafford will stay out there. He'll lead his guys up to go for it on fourth down. They snap it to Stafford. Oh, that's into a double team and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with great starting field position and one time out of their pocket, they could still come away with points here in the late going. And they'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 63 yards. And the Chiefs strike quickly here for six points. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. A quick pass to Cup. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Rams are going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Here's Stafford. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls when you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well could have been a third interception in half number one. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. Five yards, now it's third and five. 
the key to any screenplay is all in the deception. And that means everyone on the offensive side of the ball, but someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with Mahomes under center, anything's possible. Watch out for the deep ball. Rolling to his right. And it's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach, we can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. Second half starts with a run by Edwards Alaire. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. To throw, it's Mahomes. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Von Miller picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball got super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. Mahomes hit. He lost the football, and the Rams have got it back. So they tried it. Not only did they not get the first, they fumbled it away. Yeah, it's one of those things where it went from bad to worse, but I know that everyone's going to pile in on the call and say, well, what are you doing? Why would you go for it there? I think the teams that are convinced that they feel pretty good about their game plan, what they want to get done that day, go for it. Give it a try. Hey, let's see if your defense can rescue them a little bit. Second and nine. Stafford. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Unable to corral him. He fights through. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well. And they pick up big yardage. Well, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. To the air again, Stafford. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Back to throw, Stafford. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And running with power here. And in. 
inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. They'll go again here with Akers, and he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against him. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll toss this right side to Cam Akers. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Cam Akers taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Rams have taken the lead. Well, they were looking to pick up the first down on third and short. They got a little more than they bargained for, finding the end zone as well. And oftentimes in short yardage situations, you get a lot of defenders stacked near the line of scrimmage partners. So if you can get past that first wave, there's usually room to roll, and he found it. And of course, on the two-point try, had the option to run or a pass. They pass it there, and it works. So pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver, ball's put on him, two points for them. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Mahomes now to throw. They'll set up the screen to Edwards-Alaire. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively. And the key to any screen play is space to work, and there was none to be found there. And they tackle it for just a short game. The Chiefs on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He is going to find Hill here. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there. And for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Second and ten. Now Mahomes. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Edwards Hilaire as they run out of the gun. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. 
second and seven. And now here's Mahomes. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Ernest Jones. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners who've had the receivers on lockdown. They'll run on first down. Akers. And he stopped immediately there. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Stafford. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. On first down, Akers. 74 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Good gain there on first down. It keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Love has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Chris Jones on the stop. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college and happen in the NFL. The miracle of the medal last. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second-half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Los Angeles, so long, everybody.